Given i equals the square root of negative 1, what is i times 5 minus 4i? All right, so just another thing to note here, the test makers do actually give you the definition of i. Um, other than that, this is pretty much just a simple multiplication problem where you're going to be distributing i in to these parentheses here. So first, we're just going to do i times 5, which is just 5i. And now we're going to do i times negative 4i, which is going to give us negative 4i squared. Here, this is what the test makers do not remind us on this question, um, which is the definition of i squared, which is just negative 1. Of course, you could figure it out from using this in case you forgot, but I do recommend familiarizing yourself with that and ideally having it memorized that i squared equals negative 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in for i squared. We're going to replace that with negative 1. And then negative 4 times negative 1 is just a positive 4. And then last thing we're going to do is just rewrite this in standard form. Really, I wouldn't actually do that on the test to save time, but just to kind of familiarize yourself with it for the sake of this video, I am going to write it in standard form. We're going to look through our answer choices and note that the correct answer choice is K. Another thing to notice is from the beginning, we could have done some process of elimination here. Um, pretty much immediately, I know if I'm multiplying an i times an i, that's going to become my real part, right? Remember, complex numbers have both real and imaginary parts. So I pretty much would have known from the very beginning when I did i times 5 that I'm going to have a positive 5i attached. So I really could have eliminated these three answer choices from the very start. And then I could have proceeded to figure out that it was going to be a positive 4.